Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. And look what we've got for you here today. We have three of the most recent wave action figures from Godzilla vs. Kong, the movie that's coming out soon in about a week and a half. And I'm so excited to show you how incredible these action figures are. And we'll be, be bringing even more as they release them as we find them. So man, look how incredible this looks. So guys, before we get started, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can be notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. Give us a big thumbs up and let us know which one of these is your favorite. And if you already have some. So guys, what do you say we go ahead and get started right now? What is up, Vincent Gigi? Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Gigi. Vincent Gigi from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent Gigi on Super Channel G. So tight, don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV on Super Channel G. God, is this great! All right, friends, so welcome back. Here we are, we're gonna go ahead and dive right on in. We're gonna get started. And I hope you've seen already the action figures that we have for wave one. And just as a quick reminder, obviously, here are the incredible, well, here's one of them. And I'm pretty sure you watched our video before. And this was the only one that we still haven't found, which is interesting. So uh, you can check that video back on our YouTube channel, or you know what, maybe we'll include it after this one. I don't know. But either way, um, definitely there'll be a link in the description below. But here today, we have Hong Kong Battle. Um, Kong, and you know what, he looks like, he's a, probably the same Kong we got before, but with this really beautiful looking uh, lights that have been shine on him with the, with the paint application. We haven't had Mecha Godzilla yet, which we've been, has been a big mystery. Again, would be nice to get this one. And then of course, also Hong Kong Battle Godzilla, which again has the Hong Kong lights. But check this out on the back here. Looks like we've had this one, this one, now this one and this one. Of course, we still need Warbat with Osprey and then Godzilla Extreme with Fighter Jet. He's like screaming up or about to, um, roaring up I should say. But um, yeah, which one do you wanna do first? These two look incredible. Do you want to see Mecha Godzilla first? Hmm. I think so. What do you say we go ahead and get started with Mecha Godzilla and set everything else to the side for the moment? All right. So Mecha Godzilla with the Hollow Earth vehicle. Look at that. Doesn't that look um, incredible? And so I'm so excited. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, right here, Hollow Earth, and I forgot the anti-gravity vehicle right there. It looks absolutely astounding. The art is pretty similar on all of them. Of course, depending on which action figures were out when this was released. And I'm like, you know what? This one still says 2020. But um, now these new ones say blockbuster movie, Godzilla vs. Kong. And it looks pretty sick. So I wonder how close this is going to be. Obviously, this is a, an action figure. But... Um, is it is the final movie really going to look like this? Because sometimes they these they're, what I mean is the toys are made sometimes early in the development or in in the middle of production, and they might shift at the end and post production of the movie. So, um, looks really cool. We got battle damage reveal right here, and then beautiful artwork. So let's see what the back says about Mecha Godzilla. It says Mecha Godzilla with Hollow Earth anti gravity vehicle. A robotic apex predator with unstoppable powers of laser destruction, Mechagodzilla was created in secret to destroy Godzilla and end the reign of monsters. Man, that looks great. And then, you know what? We may as well read this. It is on all of the action figures so far, right? It says, Legends collide 
as Godzilla and Kong, the two most powerful forces of nature, clash in a spectacular battle for the ages. The monster war rages on the surface and deep within our world as a spectacular secret realm of the Titans known as the Hollow Earth is revealed. Yes! So, let's get this bad boy open and whoop, let's take a closer look. <clears throat> I just made that sound and didn't even cut yet. <laughs> Safety scissors. Here we are. And we got this last one. Perfect. So, come on out. Mega guy. Oh, he's got a. That's ah, alright. This rubber band or something right here. And. Let's get this out right here. Oh, there's additional tape to keep him from popping out. And. There we go. We got the battle damage piece. Oof. That was unexpected. Let's get our hollow earth anti-gravity vehicle. Perfect. Set this aside. Let's take a closer look right here. So, this vehicle, we actually have a green version now because I know we had the gray one. And I don't know how I feel about it looking green. And again, I don't know what it's gonna look like in the movie, but I'm a little unsure about it being green. Either way. Um, it looks like it's probably a similar mold, if not the exact same one. We can compare that in a minute. But um, that looks cool. And then we got a little bit of um, right here for the window. It's like a little silver, um, just paint to kind of imply that. And let's take a look at our Mecha Godzilla. All right. So I'm sure all we got to do is pop this bad boy on right here just by twist and push. Wow, it's actually taking a little bit of effort to put it on, so. There we go. There we go, just twist and push. But at support the body here. Okay, and then for the battle damage, it looks like let's get this on first and then pop that right on in there. Okay, I don't know how easy it'll pop off, but Take a look at that and so let's look at this head sculpt for our mecha godzilla does it turn at all because it's clearly a, a piece that was popped on here but looks like it does not turn um the jaw does open it's a big chunky jaw look at that um let's see what else does anything else move up there it doesn't look like it okay so then we have shoulders that look like they were um placed on they may be glued on but this plastic is not super hard and stiff. Look at this shoulder. It is restricted by this V shape right here. Um, however, it does move around pretty well and stays in place pretty well. So we can almost get the arms at a 90 degree angle. Let's see, is there an elbow joint? It looks like there is not. It appears that there would be, and it's a, clearly another pe uh, piece that was inserted in there, but it looks like these are to remain um, in this position. Wrist doesn't move and the claws do not close. So this one is open differently than this one, look. So just so you have a comparison. This one's open more like this. This other one's open more like that. So there's a side-by-side -side comparison. Um, we have the battle damage here, which um, does come off fairly easily, but it does look like it will stay in place overall. There we are, fits in the grooves right there. And then it has this little lip right here so you can put that down here first so that it stays stuck right there. Look at that. Fits pretty well actually. Okay, now as far as the legs, we do have this joint right here. Take a look at this. And moves pretty well. Look at that. And out beyond a 90 degree angle. Um, turns pretty well. However, uh, when it makes contact with these plates right here, um, it does restrict it from moving some. Looks like we have a single joint here at the knee. It is kind of a chunky joint. And we do have ankle joints. Look at that. So we can bend the knees that much. This would be really cool if it was painted like, like a metallic silver or like gunmetal or whatever. But um, I'm excited about that. And look how the feet look. Interesting. So... I'm curious to see, I just pinched myself by pushing it that way, so be careful of that. 
um, the tail will turn pretty well and it is um, soft and flexible but it does keep its shape so that is important to know um, it doesn't bend or, or pose it just twists and turns um, these are soft plastic look at that and so let's see what a simple pose would look like clearly the tail restricts it a little bit let's have knees bent let's bring the arms down and these are long arms compared to Godzilla's much shorter arms. Look at that. So, here we are. And looks pretty awesome, actually. Get closer. Look at that. And this compared to that. But, um, what are your thoughts? It looks pretty great. Let me just get the other hollow earth vehicle. Oops. And, um, we can compare what those two look like before we move on to the next action figure. Give me one second. All right, I grabbed a chip real quick. <clears throat> and so, uh, scroll, uh, skull crawler, this is where the other hollow earth anti-gravity vehicle is. And just kind of bring that right here. Here's the comparison side by side. I'll zoom in and then we'll take a look. It clearly appears to be the exact same mold, just with that different, slightly different paint for the front, and then, of course, different color plastic. So, there you are. We'll set this one right here. Move our skull crawler to the side. And then, maybe you've checked out our, our video where we did this custom just with a single color paint to make that look even more. Um, like the movie of um, Kong Skull Island and of course haven't seen this movie yet because it hasn't come out um, uh, Godzilla vs. Kong but who knows maybe he'll make an appearance I'm sure he will alright so let's move on to our next action figure let's go ahead and set this guy aside and who do you want to do next what do you say we do hmm Let's do Hong Kong Battle Kong. <laughs> that's a lot of Kong. But that's super awesome how it looks with this paint. And yes, I definitely believe it looks like um, King Kong, the uh, uh, version we got earlier. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Wow, you just made me realize something. Okay, so, and unfortunately, that means I left him at the store. So... Not good, but um, right here we have Hong Kong Battle Kong, the one we're about to take a look at right now. We have Battle Kong with, uh, I'm sorry, Kong with Battle Axe. So we have the Battle Axe, which is probably exact same except with different um, paint application. And we have the Battle Damage right here. But this looks like the sculpt from, take a look back here, Kong with Fighter Jet. And I thought we already had Kong with Fighter Jet and it turns out we don't and I left him at the store so I'm gonna need to pick him up wow I can't believe I did that so um and then I'll probably add him to this video but that's unfortunate either way that looks like what this is uh, with different paint application and perhaps um uh, and then of course the battle axe from Kong with battle axe so it looks great looks awesome with this packaging I love these colors right here and looks so awesome from so far the, uh, the the trailers we've been watching so let's see what it says here about Hong Kong Battle Kong it says Hong Kong Battle Kong unleash the primal strength of Kong as he enters an urban jungle of skyscrapers navigating the neon city skyline with his ancient scepter to challenge Godzilla for the title of King of the Monsters. Yep, love this art right here. And it looks pretty great right there. Again, guess, I guess now we need this one, this one, and that one. All right, so let's get them open. And let's take a look to see how ab absolutely incredible 
he is. So it turns out I do need that fighter jet. I can't believe it. Oh, I'll get him. Don't you worry, Vince. <laughs> get him on out. I don't want to scratch him up, so I'm going to carefully cut this over to the side and use both hands to cut by applying pressure. There we go. Okay. Bust them on out. And let's get these out right here. There we are. Let's get the battle damage piece out. Very cool. Okay. So, this would go right here. Much like a puzzle piece. Boom. Boom. And did something wrong because it didn't just pop in. So let's insert it this way first then, and then pop that one. So left to right, perfect. Let's get closer here. Let's take a look at this battle axe. So the battle axe looks pretty crazy. Again, let's see. Um, compared to this one. Here you don't see any of the blue. Okay, use that purple, and then look at this face right here. A little bit of paint uh, bleed over here. The head turns, but doesn't really go up and down. And um, take a look at that. Pretty awesome. The arms go this high up. They turn really well and smooth, and yet still remain in place. Look at that. They're not loose at all. And the arms come out uh, up to about there. They go a little further beyond straight out, but um, let's see the wrists. The wrists turn only. Oops. They don't go back and forth. There we go. We can place this here. The hand is, look at that. And uh, soft and so is uh, this plastic right here for the battle axe, so interesting. Uh, there is nothing to move him here at the waist and the paint just literally ends right here so I don't know uh, if they're using the, the same back on all of them perhaps and then you can just paint the front ones so I like the the joints for the hips the joints for the knees are pretty wow that's a little too far forward <laughs> but it does um, bend pretty well and the too bad we can't move the ankles, but otherwise the legs do move out and around pretty well. Look at that. So let's stand him up and let's pose him like he is on the box. What do you say? So on the box, it does have this. Oh, that's fairly simple. So he just kind of has it out and up. And here, he has this arm down. So, too bad I can't turn his body um, another way. But, um, or his head a little bit more. That would be awesome if I can turn the head a little bit more. But, um, either way, this action figure looks pretty outstanding. Look at that. We can touch up some of the paint ourselves later. There we are. Set them right here next to Mecha Godzilla. It looks pretty awesome. What do you think? All right, cool. Let's move on. Let's check out the last one we have because we accidentally forgot to pick this up. Haven't seen this one yet, and haven't seen this one yet. So this one, this one. We need to get this one and this one. And you know what? As soon as we get this one, we will review it right after this video so um, awesome uh, you know what and let me stress that these have been licensed for playmates toys in case I haven't said that um, nearly enough as much as I should but um again the MonsterVerse and Godzilla vs Kong so look how great this Godzilla looks um, I'm like how much is it uh, similar to this one right here let's open this one's mouth and is it this one or is it the other one? 
interesting. Let's see. Looks like it very well could be the mold for this exact same Godzilla. Except the tail is a little different, so you see the similarities right there. And you know what? Let me see. Do I have the heat ray one right here? I believe I do. That way we can compare this bad boy to the heat ray one. Oops. Sorry. Dropped everything. Curious. Heat Ray Godzilla. So, what do you think? May or may not be that one too. I think it might be because look at that tail. So very cool. All right, let's get this bad boy open. And this is Hong Kong Battle Godzilla. Look at this battle damage. And wouldn't it be cool to put like an LED light in there? And then light it up and have it flicker or whatever. Control it. Um, I think that'll be our next custom project because that should, should be pretty cool. So it says, Hong Kong Battle Godzilla. The earth-shaking power of Godzilla is in your hands as the king of the monsters unleashes his devastating heat ray and skyscraper shattering tail swipe to battle Kong for the monster throne. That looks pretty outstanding. Now, it just stopping right there, you know, if it was hitting something would be even more epic, but we get it. So, there'll be more action figures to come out and we'll get them as they are released. So let's get this bad boy open. Let's remove him here from the package. Ugh. I'm like, there we go. And let's get the heat ray and the battle damage. Interesting though, because is the battle damage going to reveal or just only peel away? So we'll find out. And these are definitely softer feeling, more like gel feeling interesting. Interesting. This one feels almost like soft candy. It's not, so don't try and eat it. But um, look at the tail. Interesting, look at that. Oops, it's flopped out. And so we'll put it right here in the tail. Be careful, even though these are soft, they're still kind of pokey. So let's put this right here, twist. Oh, that was easy. And then look at that. Look how clear he is. So the legs, they're very simple legs. They just swing back and forth. And they're a lot more straight. Well, I'll take that back. I think it is the same mold because this one is straight and this one is bent right here. So it's intended to have this one like forward like that. Now, interesting enough, um, the hip joints are actually a lot looser than I thought they would be. It does reveal right here, where's the ribs and stuff. We can place that right over here. Wow, did I put this wrong? There we go, sorry about that. And it's definitely a different color than that, look at that. But I'm loving this fade with the purple and the blue. That looks outstanding. And I love the paint right here on the arms. So the arms don't go out, they just spin around. Look at that. And then the jaw opens and closes. And if you'll notice, it has a little notch right there so that we can put this right in there. And that can hold him blasting. That looks pretty awesome, what do you think? So we'll set that right there. And I'm a little disappointed how loose this leg is, but nonetheless, awesome. So, what do you guys think? We'll go ahead and move our action figures around. We need to get the other ones we're missing. Now I did see the one uh, Kong with fighter jet, so we need to get that one. And we'll do it next. But um, either way, um, I don't know how I can I have a lot of fun posing these probably. So, um, guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. Look at um, the three action figures we've looked at, and we'll be reviewing even more as they drop and as I find them. So, guys, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you can notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. Love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from, man. 
Give us a big thumbs up if you like this video, if you like Godzilla, if you like Kong, if you are excited about Godzilla vs. Kong. So, we'll be seeing you soon, guys. Thanks for watching Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.